you've watched Valid here on BizAsialive.com on the London shoot of Yeah Mahabade, of course, number one show in the UK. And I'm with none other than Garan Patel, who's here. Garan, I'm so happy that I finally got my yeah, hands on you. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, how, how are you doing first? I'm doing great, I'm doing London. great. London's good, London's great. It's one of my favourite cities and uh, coming to London this often in the same year has been never happened before. It's just thanks to Yeah Mahabade is happening this year. I mean, you know how big it is. I mean, you know, Yeah Mahabade is the number one show in the UK. You know, what would you say about all the fans that adore your show, not just here, but also worldwide? I think all the fans, it's Yeah Mahabade is what it is because of the fans all over the world and especially in UK because uh, most of our fan base is uh, from abroad, are from UK and uh, they love the show so much. They closely follow it. They also pinpoint mistakes, which is which is awesome because uh, often uh, we overlook the smaller details and they don't. So which shows that they actually love the show and they, they they consider the show as a part of their own life. Yeah, and good. And not only that, though, but um, the kind of love you're getting. I mean, for every storyline, even though there's been so many kind of ups and downs with the stories with your character, uh, you know. The, is there a particular part of the show that you think, oh, both I think I should just kind of hang my boots up? Is it? Is there, no, 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 like never hang my boots up. But yes, I do want to get my memory back because people all over the world <laughs> yes. have been asking me when the hell are you going to start remembering things. So I said, uh, I don't know. I hopeful soon. But uh, most of the people I meet here in London as well, every second person meets me and says, Hey, Raman, when are you going to get memory back? I said, Ma'am, it does also here. You can see the right person asks. Right but it's good, it's all part of the, uh, the kind of development of your character, isn't it? I mean, you probably it is, like it. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is it good for a character like yourself? It's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's nice because what happens is you know, when you have so many ups and downs, it gives you, uh, gives you a scope to perform, uh, play different shades, play different characters, and also uh, not trying to make them uh, caricaturish and trying to do something out of the box and in, or be, you know, add something of their own to it. So anyway, it's a lot of challenges and uh, it's great to always win challenges. And you're part of the... Um, a big storyline in London so can you give us a clue as to what's happening and what we can expect well finally you can expect Raman's memory to come back and that's what we're in London for so basically for the first time this is Raman Ishita I have been uh, to a lot of places uh, abroad but uh, as either strangers or as uh, people who don't know each other or people because they fought but it's the first time they are in London since London is their favorite city uh, as a couple and they're here to just re uh, rekindle their entire uh, wedding or stuff like that and stuff and also Ishita's uh, trying really hard to get his memory back which is good. And Karin, I saw you uh, on the scenes earlier, you're getting quite romantic with Ishita. Are you kind of a romantic kind of guy? You know, would you like to do that where you're sitting on, on, on like a tour bus? Uh, no, I tell you what, my wife also says this, that uh, I am the most romantic man on screen but I am the, <laughs> I'm, I'm hopeless when it comes to romantic off screen and uh, I think I don't know, I mean I'm I don't know why it happens, but maybe because uh, yet again there's another striking similarity between Shah Rukh and me then uh, even he says the same about himself and I'm glad I haven't been made that way. But you're here with the lads aren't you? So you're having such a good time with the, with the rest of the boys? Yeah, yeah the boys, yeah, the Rumi's here, uh, Adi's here, that's Ali and uh, Vishek and yeah, we guys born really well so we've been here, yeah, we've been working and partying. And what are you enjoying most about London? Uh, this time? The cold. The cold, yeah? yeah coming from a city where the average is 32 degrees. Anything that could go below it is amazing. Good, only a few days back, um, I don't want to touch upon it too much, but a few days back, I only put something on Twitter about you know trolls and all this rubbish, you know, to do with certain people, mm -hmm. um, you know, haters. Would you say anything about those people? Um, I know that. No, I'll tell you what. I respect uh, the view, views that, are, that haters have as well, because it's their point of view. But it's just that there is a certain way that you put your point across. You know, you uh, you do not cross a certain line. Because when you say something ill or something uh, bad or dirty about somebody just because you hate them, you are also you are also troubling the other people close to them. It's their family that reads the trolls, it's their close ones who read the trolls, and they get disturbed. So I'm not saying that you need to love everybody. Okay, you have the right to hate, but just hate with dignity. I mean, you know, there's a dignified way that you should put your hate across as well. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm cutting you here now for the next few days. What have you got planned? I mean, I know you're shooting, but you're partying, right? So I'm trying to party, but yeah, <laughs> shooting for sure. Other than just uh, figuring out and uh, hoping that I get a day off. And I really want to rush back to Pista uh, Village because I've missed out on a lot of my friends from there. But hopefully, uh, should manage uh, a few days off, as in a few hours off. Rather.